That's actually super fun. That's what Henry does. <laughs> they turn metal and wood into fun. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, thanks for doing the training bang. We are a Henry family. We are, including this guy right here. And when I got this pump action octagon, I thought the perfect time to take it out and break it in was on our annual family trip to the range the day after Thanksgiving. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Henry Pump Action Octagon is a rimfire rifle that embodies the nostalgia of old timey shooting galleries. The classic Henry octagonal barrel is chambered for either 22 long rifle or the potent 22 magnum, giving the tubular magazine a capacity of 15 rounds or 12 rounds respectively. The blued 19 and 3 quarters inch heavy barrel is topped with a fully adjustable marble semi buckhorn rear sight and bright brass bead front. The receiver is grooved for the addition of scope rings to help hunters old and new bag those squirrels that just won't come into your calling. The stock set is made from American walnut without a single flaw in the grain or finish. Deep grooves in the foreign provide traction while generous radiusing ensures a comfortable grip. The trigger is grooved to provide a good press with or without gloves and it breaks cleanly at right over 3 pounds. The action release button sits just in front of the trigger guard, keeping it out of the way without requiring you to shift your grip to actuate it. As with all Henry rifles, the 6-pound pump action octagon is made entirely in the U.S. and comes with a generous lifetime warranty. When I first cycled the pump, my muscle memory was expecting the kind of throw you get from a 12-gauge shotgun, but instead, I was rewarded with shells flying from the mere flick of my wrist. The pump action is as smooth as that on Henry's lever guns, but you will certainly notice the lack of mechanical advantage that you'd get from a lever-actuated bolt. That said, the pump feels faster to me, and there's no chance of sore knuckles from a plinking session like can happen with a lever gun. <laughs> Sweet! Being the day after Thanksgiving, it is noisy on the range, but that just meant we had a chance to share our Henrys with even more shooters. She's got the Henry Lever youth that she really loves to shoot. I'm going to keep using the pump, and I'm going to give her first shot at all of these targets, and then I'm going to shoot cleanup. I might not be very busy at all. Okay, go ahead and you got to cycle the action. There you go. <laughs> you shot the steel so the spall took out all the balloons. Wow. Okay, shoot the soda. Take your time, take your time. There you go. Shoot the other one first. There you go. Okay, shoot the one that's down on the right there again. That what? The one, the one that's that one. Shoot the can. Are you out? That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> Good job. That's hilarious. You got all the balloons with one shot. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so this is a little harder to cycle than the lever gun, right? I got one in it already. What I want you to do is reach up with your thumb and pull the hammer back, and that'll be your first shot, okay? Okay, and when you're ready, you're going to pull the trigger. Aim at one of the cans or one of the plates, whatever you want. Okay, now pull that back really hard. Now push it forward really hard. Let me see. Yeah, okay, that's in battery. Good. There you go. You got it. Push it forward all the way. I think you got it. There you go. Try and get the other three plates down. You got to aim a little higher, okay? There you go. Can you get the cans, you think? Give yourself a little break, yeah. It's long for you, but you're doing great. I thought that that was going to give you a little more trouble cycling than it is. You're doing fantastic. Okay, you got five cans. I think you have enough rounds. 
It's probably going to rip right through them because they're leaning forward so much. But go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, it's just going right through them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job, sweetheart. After my daughter had her fun, my wife decided that she wanted to give the pump action octagon a try. Start with the plates. Try to shoot at the top of the plates. See if you can knock them down. Yeah, just pull it back hard. It's ready to go. There you go. That's it. And remember, aim with that bead right in that notch. And shoot, aim at the top of the plates. There you go. That's it. Good job. Yay. Okay. Hit that can that's about to fall over all the way on the right. Hit it in the lid. There you go. You got it. Move on down. You got it. Dead center. Yeah, they're just not going down. Good job. One more. Okay, now don't worry about cycling to action because that's a dead gun right there. Good job. Excellent work. I think the only thing that Henry could do to improve on this is to make it in a center fire pistol cartridge version. I would love this in 38 Special 357 Magnum. And uh, I keep bugging them to, to hopefully do that someday. But it's fantastic, of course, in a rim fire version. What, what did you think about it? Well, I, uh, it is different than a lever gun, but it is still fun to use. What did you think about pumping it at first? I thought it was going to be hard, but it turned out to be easier than I expected. I think that this is not necessarily a youth rifle, but if your kid's big enough to hold it up, they're probably going to be big enough to cycle the action. If you want to learn more about Henry Rifles Pump Action Octagon, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to check me out on Instagram or Facebook at the links below, and be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and more Henry Rifles. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.